After a couple of solo squirts, here's our first pair. And a couple of cars on the outside looking in, although I fear that's going to be the case for many of these racers as they come up with the conditions better today. Clay Milliken and Doug Foley. Doug Foley on the O'Reilly side of the track. The folks, Redline Oil and Protec. DDP and the team down there. Glenn Hughes are helping to tune that race car. Doug does not come out here on a full-time basis, but he's out here often enough. That's his son, Doug Jr., out in front of the car, backing him up. Also does the clutch on that car. Also races in Super Comp. The Foley's out of North Carolina. Currently sitting in the number 17 spot. Clay Milligan on the right side. The folks at Parts Plus. Rick Ware Racing coming over from the NASCAR world. The folks at Ford as well on that machine. Summit, Jacob Companies as well, helping out the Biohaven folks and Parts Plus. Clay currently sits number 21. It is 66 degrees out, 1,300 feet of density altitude. There is more horsepower available today than there was yesterday. Slightly warmer track. Should be time to see big numbers. Clay Milliken drives it out of the groove and clicks it off early, and Doug Foley started spinning the tires. 460 with a 4 at 168 for Clay. 466 with a 2 for Doug Foley at 159 miles per hour. Good news. They're both in. Bad news. Neither one of them anywhere near safe, and they both know it. Clay Milliken goes to 14. Doug Foley goes to 16. Tony Schumacher, who just smoked his tires on into the field, is immediately bumped right back out, and we are... Off and running in Camping World Top Field. Yeah, this is so exciting to have the race within a race that is qualifying in the Camping World Series. And 